Hey everybody, we're back. Robert here, continuing on with our commercial project. And here we are going, this is our 3D view rendered. Because uh, I remember we didn't get finishes in there. We can do that later, but you can get images of people and everything. So now what we're going to look at is doing our construction documents. Okay, so our construction documents, so we're going to put everything together that we worked on. And um, basically, uh, with this template we use, we have drawings already set up for us. So I'm going to go on our project valve and just collapse this. And these are our sheets that's already available for us. So what we want to do first of all and foremost is go into our where it says sheets here. I want to just do a right click here. We're going to new sheet. Cancel that. We're going to go to new sheet. Now we're going to use the 32 by uh, 30 by 42. Hit open. And then there's our sheet. Okay, now, as you remember, in this template, we already had pre designed, predefined sheets. Okay, so. What we're going to do is go down and look at one of our predefined sheets that we have here in our project browser from the template we use. So let's go down and look at our roof plan uh, A3. Okay, so now, okay, this is what we had originally. And obviously this is not my roof plan, so what I'm going to do I'm going to just blow this guy away. Okay. So my original work plan would go there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to my, see, let's see what we got over here. Okay, now I'm, I know there's some confusion with this in the book. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to go through this step by step to make sure we get this all right. So now uh, let's go look at some of these sheets here. So did he give us a level two? He gave, we got a level two ceiling. So what's going to have to happen? Okay, rough framing. Let's see what we got in our foundation. Okay, we got that there. Good. So some of these drawings we're going to have to create and set up. So first and foremost, we need to go and set up our levels. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create our first level. This is probably where the confusion was. Let me just get out of this. And I'm going to close this. But now we've got our rough plan, but that, that, that sheet we're going to save. And there's our CT, our civil sheet, and back here. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to go into level one. Architect of Floor Plans, and there's our level one. Let's open it up. So there's level one. So the way I would attack this, the way you would attack this, this being level one. So let's go down into our sheets. This is level one, first floor plan, and it's nothing there. So what I want to do here. I'm going to go and take and drag and drop my level one here. Now, what I do sometimes, uh, and it's good, I like to, I would duplicate this view. And I'm going to rename this to level one floor plan. Uh, well, I don't know. We need to get the name straight. Yeah, okay, level one floor plan is good. Now, what I'm going to tell you about this process is once you start creating drawings, you start creating work. So it's best to have all your, all your stuff together. I'm sorry, I was going to say sugar together. <laughs> but anyway, okay. 
So we've got our level one there. And let's go back and look at our sheets at A1. Okay, so now this is really not the naming scheme you would use for uh, this type of project. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to rename this. And I'm going to call this A101. And I'm going to call this Level 1 Floor Plan. And we're going to say OK. So there's our Level 1, our, our sheet. So I'm going to just scroll all the way back up here to see our Level 1 Floor Plan. And what I'm going to do with our level one floor plan is just simply going to drag and drop him here. Mm, okay. All right. So now, is this our level one? Yeah, this is level one. <laughs> okay. So now, what we do here is once we get in this drawing here, we got a few things going on here. To, quite well so we can go here now and let's go and crop this view so to crop the view basically is you would go here and you would activate this view and then down here uh, we want to go and we want to set this guy to we want to turn this little crop region on so you can see these crop lines and basically let's just go and drag them in a bit here Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. So there's our first floor plan. All good to go now. Uh, I want to deactivate this view. And now what happens is, what you do is just touch the boundary here, and you can grab this title. Uh-oh, sorry. Grab this one. And grab this title, and you can move it up onto the sheet. Uh, okay, I'm going to drag that in. So that's a level one floor plan. Now I want to activate this view again, and I want to just shift it down just a little bit. You want to deactivate it and shift it down just a bit. Uh oh, what's going on here? There we go. Now this line here, let's see what's going on with this. Let's go back into our view, activate this view again. And we got the crop region on. Let's just turn it off and deactivate view. Okay, now there's our first level. Now here, uh, some it just depends. Um, some people want furniture plans, some people don't. I uh, prefer to have a furniture plan because it keeps stuff off the drawing. But in this case, let's just leave it here for time's sake. So this is our, our 101 drawing. And then here, I'm gonna, you can just double click here and I can change this. Uh, here also, I can change this as our design office, but this is what was in the book, so I'm gonna use what they have here. So there's our first level plan. Okay, so now from there, we need to go and start looking at our second level. So let's go and see what the template had for a level. And then we did not have, uh oh, wait a second here. Okay, so let's look at our sheets. And that's our level one floor plan with, that we have here. So now we need to grab the level two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to do the new sheet. Hello, Moto. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to go here and grab a new sheet. And 
this sheet I will call A102. I want to rename this. It's A102. And I'm going to rename this to my level two floor plan. Now, let's go up to look at level two here. And that is our level two, okay? So now we've got all these things showing up in mechanical and you know, it's, it's up in the air and we can always use view templates, but I wanna just get this drawn out here, uh, just to get this going. So I'll go back into my sheet and then I'll right click here and I'll duplicate this view. And I'll rename this to level two floor plan. So this is our level two floor plan. And then I'm gonna go back to that sheet. And I'm gonna drag and drop that duplicated view onto that sheet. Uh-oh, there it is. Now, if you look into my pro the project browser here, what you'll see is the blue is designates that I have placed that drawing on the sheet, which is pretty nice. This is new in 2023 uh, because, yeah, before you really didn't know. You just had to guess. So, again, here, I'm going to activate this view. And I want to turn these all visuals on, so that's okay. Our crop region is, let me turn that off. Our crop region is on. And we could just pull it in. Okay. And then sometimes you can, uh, Deactivate this view. Let me see this. And let's move this in. Move this up here. So now these are our, our, low, our floor plans. So now let's go ahead and have a look at the roof. So this is our roof drawing with based on the, um, the roof. But let's go down and have a look at our our sheets now, our 101. Now here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna activate this view, and it should be our architecture view, uh, uh, template here, view template. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go apply view templates. And we have architectural roof plan, floor plan. We want the architectural floor plan. We hit OK. Now this scale is set to an eighth of an inch. And I just need to go back here. And this is, do you need to reset this to one quarter? Okay, so there you go. So this is our our second floor architectural plan. I'm sorry, this is our first floor we've got here. Let me just, just drag this down a little bit. Right about there. Okay, so now we've got our First floor and our second floor. 
Now, what normally happens is uh, you want to go and do your ceiling plans at this point. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do another sheet. And so for this sheet, I'm going to go to my ceiling plans. And I'm going to grab level one. Now, level one is sitting somewhere already. So let's go take a look and see what's going on here. Now, we can have, we can't have multiple views on sheets. So what did they give us here? Okay, now I don't see any seven plans over here. Okay, so we, we, we can make one. So here, I want to just right click here. I'm going to rename this to level one. Reflect the ceiling plan. Oops. <laughs> I guess you can all see I can't type. Okay, so this is going to be our seven plan sheet. And then we're going to go up to where our ceilings are. I just don't know where this guy is. He's somewhere. Uh, let me check one more time. Well, I'm not going to worry about him. But he's somewhere, which is which is what's happening there. I don't know where he is. Now, if you run into that problem, you can always duplicate it. So let's take one more. Oh, there it is, right there. So my reflective ceiling plan is sitting on this sheet. So rather than muck around with this, with this sheet I already set up, we'll just do this. We can go here, we can rename this to our A103. Oops, sorry. This sheet here rename to A103. Okay, so this is going to be a, okay. What did happen there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, I can't spell. Rename. Uh, Okay, okay, cancel that. So I'm going to rename this. I didn't spell it right anyways. L. There you go. Nope. <laughs> wow, Robert. I'm going to go okay. So this is our ceiling plan. Now I want to go in here and I want to rename this A2 sheet here. I'm going to delete this one first if I can. And I want to take this one, rename him to A103. Okay, now this is just the architectural. 
You got to do the mechanical. I'm going to walk you through it all because, uh, yeah, this, this is a little different. When you got the one-man gang, so I'm going to change the scale here to one quarter inch. And shift it onto the paper. Now, this is our RCP drawing. I don't have a problem with the mechanical, but if you got when you get to this point, you should be able to activate this view. And let's go look and see what kind of view templates we got here. Um, for this, we can go and go to architectural ceiling plan because we don't need the electric on the mechanical. We're gonna go okay. And we'll change this to one quarter of an inch. Okay. Oh, I didn't apply it. My bad. We're going to do a template here. This view is activated. We'll go here and try a view template. Actually, that's the one we want. Yep. Uh, so we go okay here. Now, generally, normally, you won't see the mechanical here. So I guess we're going to have to do something here. So I'm going to just go here, push this up here. I mean, I don't mind seeing it because it, you do see that in the ceiling. But normally, mechanical in this other its own discipline. So I'm going to activate this view here. And... I'm going to go and remove these mechanical elements out of here. Because this is going to go in the other drawing. This is our architecture of the ceiling plan. So I'm going to select these guys and I'm going to hide elements. Hide elements. Actually, I might just leave those there for now. I'll clean them up later because this is going to be kind of a lengthy video because this is kind of important. Now, the most important thing is here, you need to have your model really tight. It's good because, I mean, the way I do this, uh, I like to get my model good as much as I can done in it because once you start creating sheets, man, you got a lot of work on you creating work for yourself. So here now, if you go in our project browser, we have three sheets there. We've got our level one floor plan, our level two floor plan, our first floor reflective ceiling plan. Now we need to do our second floor RCP. So uh, go in there, let's go and look at our Create another sheet. Let me see. Did we get an RCP plan to give us one? No, they did not. So let's create one. The sheet. We're going to go with that one. Okay. So now let's go and look at our second floor ceiling. Okay. Okay, we don't have a second floor cell, so we all know how to do that. So but before we do that, let's go and get this organized. So let's right click. I'm gonna rename this guy to uh level two reflective selling plan. Can't never get that. <laughs> okay, now so we've got our, our sheet set up. 
So now we gotta go in here uh, and create a get us a second level selling plan because we don't have one here. So let's just step over here. So there's level one. So now how to get that is basically here. We've done this before. We go and look at uh, we select reflect the ceiling. And if we don't want to duplicate views, we want to check that and we click level two. Okay. So there's our level two RCP. And that looks pretty good. Uh, so now we have to split these disciplines up. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to go back into that. 104, and I'm going to drag and drop my second floor reflector ceiling plan here. Uh oh, didn't make it. Where is it? Okay, let's do this again. Oh, something happened here. Uh, so, let me just get out of this. Oh, there it is. Didn't rename it. Oh. Okay, level two one. Where is that guy at? Okay, so here, this can get a little tricky and a little dicey here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to my sheet. And there should be something over here. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go through this. I've got the uh, up to level two selling plans. I'm going to push this back out here. And uh, I'm gonna, let me try this one more time. I don't know what I did here. Reflect the selling plan. I think I lost it. I want that for level two. Level two selling plan. Okay. And then it's level two, three, and I don't see it in my project browser. So, I'm going to leave it there until I figure that one out. I see it there, but I don't see it over here. So if anybody knows what's going on here, uh, let me know. I'm going to try to work this out for you guys. Um, but okay, anyway, I'm going to try to work this out. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. We make videos like this every day. And everybody, please say thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later. I need to figure this one out. Bye.